Substitute Matt Kimball came off the bench to score twice in the last four minutes at Bridgewater tonight, but it was the home team who ended up taking the points with a 4-3 victory. Manager Steve Cuss brought in Brad McGookin from the start, relegating George Webb to the bench in favour of Max Cream. And Gary Funnell, who has left the club, wasn't on the pitch. And Wimborne started very strongly and looked better than they'd done for a number of weeks, full of energy and pressing the Bridgewater defence. And it was no more than they deserved when Tom Jeffs put them 1-0 up on 35 minutes. But the lead was short-lived and only three minutes later it was Aaron Cornwall equalising for the home team. Then four minutes later came the turning point of the game. A two-footed tackle by Jamie Davidson left the referee with little option and Jamie was dispatched to the changing rooms. 1-1 at half-time then, and Wimborne facing an uphill battle in the second half. They held out until the 59th minute when the referee saw fit to award a penalty to Bridgewater, Matt Thorne converting. 2-1 then, and worse was to come. Dave Pearce made it 3-1 with 16 minutes to go, and then an own goal after the ball had re rebounded from Jason Harville made it 4-1 to the Robins on 84 minutes. Steve Cuss had introduced Matt Kemble for Jordan Cole on 73 three minutes. Before that, George Webb came on for Taffy Richardson on 64 minutes. And finally, Nathan Richardson, Nathan Lynch, I beg your pardon, came on for Tom Jeffs on 76 minutes. And it was substitute Matt Kemble who, first of all, on, seven, on I beg your pardon, 87 minutes, dribbled the ball along the 18-yard line before hitting the goal of the night with his left foot into the top right-hand corner of the homekeeper's net. Two minutes later, and there was a bit of light at the end of the tunnel, Nathan Lynch was fouled on the bench and Kemble stood up to, stood forward, came forward to smash the ball past the Bridgewater goalkeeper. But it was too little too late and the referee's whistle went on an entertaining game that finished Bridgewater 4, Wimborne Town 3. Next up for the Magpies at home to Poulton Rovers on Saturday and hope to see you there. My man of the match? Well, probably Max Cream for an outstanding display in the first half, although his form shaded in the second half. Overall, this was a better performance for the Magpies. A lot more, a lot more football on the ground, a lot more energy, a lot more closing down the opposition. But it was too hard for them with ten men in the second half.